It's been close to a month since Jason Marquis won a game, and he's seen a pair of NL arms pass him on the wins list, trying to regain a share of that top perch with a victory over the Pirates on Thursday. And he's got Troy Tulowitzki on his side, which is a good thing because Tulo is just on fire right now. Hit for the cycle earlier in the week here. Homers for the third time in four games, 23rd overall, 2 nothing Rockies. As for Jason Marquis in the third inning, facing Brandon Moss gets himself a strikeout. And then Ronnie Cedeno going down the left field line. And watch Carlos Gonzalez going a long way, of course, to get there. And then leaping against the wall to make the grab. He had two nice catches against the wall in this one. After a walk in the third inning, Andy LaRoche hits it to the double play. Garrett Atkins take care of business there. Marquis, one run, three hits, seven innings. Bottom three, Clint Barmas. Base hit for him, and Dexter Fowler comes in to score. 3-0 Colorado. Then in the sixth, Garrett Atkins able to slide it through. Andrew McCutcheon, no play to Lewitsky. There's that guy again. Comes in to score, makes it 4-1. To the bottom of the seventh inning, a man on for Clint Barmas, and that's pretty much going to end the ball game. 17th home run for Barmas. 7-1 Rockies. They coast the easy victory. Barmas, three hits, three RBIs. The top of the lineup, Dexter Fowler, four hits, scored three times as Jason Markey wins for the 13th time this year. He's the third National Leaguer to reach 13 wins behind Johan Santana and Adam Wainwright. Josh Beckett, of course, with 14 over there in the AL. So the Rockies with the win pull a game and a half ahead of the Giants in the NL wildcard.